One of the misconceptions around acne is that you need to dry it out. You don't want to get pigmentation. So A, it doesn't get worse, and B, no more acne pimples are going to join the party. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura Leanne, and today we're going to be talking about breakouts. Breakouts, acne, pimples, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same. We are going to be talking about it. So whether you are someone like me who suffers with hormonal acne, you know, you usually get it on the lower part of your face, or whether you get it when you have your monthly period, or whether you've been suffering with breakouts over the past few months wearing masks, I am all too familiar with every single one of those. So I've been suffering with acne probably since I was 16. I wanna say before, but honestly, I can't even remember. It's been that long. And now obviously I'm 28 and well, I still suffer with acne because my hormones are everywhere, honestly. We are gonna be talking about a few steps to put in place for when you have a breakout or for when you have a cluster of breakouts. So A, it doesn't get worse and B, no more acne pimples are gonna join the party because honestly, two to three at a time is enough. It's enough, okay? So before we get started, I have to make an obvious disclaimer. I am not an expert. I am not a dermatologist. I am talking about my tips today purely from my own experience and what I have found that helps me because when you've gone through acne for the majority of your life, I just find that obviously you find useful tips on the way and you find what works for you. So obviously take these following tips lightly obviously see what works for you, like works well for you and your skin and just take this time to listen to your skin as well because more times than not it's going to tell you what it needs so without further ado let's get into the video the first tip i want to mention is your routine we want to look at the routine that we have so usually on a day-to-day -day basis, I have actives, whether that's exfoliant, whether that's vitamin C, because obviously not only am I treating acne, I'm treating pigmentation as well. Sometimes when it comes to treating pigmentation, it's best to treat it not too far away from treating the acne itself, because obviously you don't want it to be left on your skin too long, because obviously it's gonna take longer to treat. So what we wanna do when it comes to our skincare routine is just strip it back so it's comfortable for you to use on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, that's a good cleanse uh, double cleanse in the evening of course a liquid exfoliant so an exfoliant is something that I will keep in the routine but that's purely just because obviously we still want to get rid of dead skin and it's gentle there are a lot of gentle uh, formulas out there that can sort of work with your skin even when it's breaking out at its worst after the cleansing and the exfoliant I do prioritize incorporating hydrating and moisturizing ingredients into my routine so that'll be facial mists that'll be hyaluronic acid so you just want to make sure that you are hydrating the area one of the misconceptions around acne is that you need to dry it out now usually if it if it's one pimple, then my skin doesn't mind me, you know, choosing a drying out formula. But when it's acne, that's sort of like all over the cheek area or all over the chin area. It's not something that I like to do because often my skin can peel and it just does not feel comfortable at all. So one of the things that I would say is, you know, keep your hydrating and your moisturising formulas in your routine because one of the most important things that you want, you want to keep your complexion hydrated and the main reason being is because you want to strengthen your skin's barrier because ultimately that's what's going to heal your acne. So like I said in the evening, I do opt for double cleansing whether or not I'm using makeup or not and that's because I'm still wearing SPF. To be honest, most cleansers, they will work to remove your SPF but I just find that in order to get rid of SPF, makeup, trapped pollution, I just find that it gives my skin the best base for the rest of my products. So yeah, tip number one is to stick to a routine. But also an important note is don't rush back just so your skin can get used to obviously having all of those products again. So the second tip is spot treatments. Now there are loads of spot treatments. I'll put a few pictures up on the screen of what my skin has been looking like. 
over the past few days and as you can see it's sort of like all around my cheeks you know my chin so what i have been using is the matisse for a razor and it's basically just like a mask you put on you can leave it on overnight and that's what i've been using as my spot treatment so the next tip is exfoliation. Exfoliating your skin, preferably a liquid one. I, I find that obviously physical ones sort of aggravate the acne even more, but a good liquid exfoliant. You can get dual ones, so ones that contain both BHA and AHAs, and what that does is it basically helps to remove dead skin from the surface, but it also works deep into the pores to make sure your clogs are not, to make sure your pores are not clogged. <laughs> and just to remove any excess residue that you've accumulated over the day or you know trap pollutants things like that so exfoliating once maybe twice a week is just going to make sure that you're ac you're giving your acne the best opportunity to heal what exfoliation does as well that it helps to remove bad bacteria from the pores so sebum can't build up because obviously if you have excess sebum then it's just going to create more acne and obviously we don't want that the next tip is a change of diet and supplements now if you're like me you do like your chocolate and guys when it comes to having a massive breakout i do sort of watch what i eat in the sense that i don't want to overload my body with sugar because i just know that it's going to feed into that acne and probably make it worse Another thing I look into is supplements as well. Now, again, I'm not an expert, so I will pop down below in the description bar a few good sources of different supplements you can take, you know, to sort of help you with your acne breakouts. I am currently taking a supplement to help balance my hormones, and that is maca root. So maca root is very good for sort of balancing your hormones and sort of making sure they're in check because guys this is obviously for me the number one killer when it comes to acne other supplements that you could take is maybe turmeric because it helps with inflammation so obviously if you have a lot of under the skin cystic acne or like red bumps turmeric can be a really good ingredient as it helps with inflammation another one is like maybe a green superfood powder especially ones that have like gut friendly ingredients so basically what that does is it helps to balance the gut microbiome which can also have an effect on your acne as well the last and final tip but probably the most important tip you need SPF. Wearing SPF guys is probably one of the most important things of your routine. It is obviously one of the most important skincare products that you can ever have in your routine. And yeah, that is my final most important tip of this video is to make sure that you wear SPF because you don't want to get pigmentation. So those are all my tips that I follow when it comes to having a, you know, massive breakout during the time of the month or whether like now I'm having a bit of a flare up but there are a few notes that I just want to say because honestly I wish I heard this when I was 16 years old when it comes to treating acne I you know I generally thought that once you have a good routine and you make a few switches I thought it would just go overnight and honestly it it doesn't work like that so I don't want to be that person that promotes you know treating acne takes just a few days because that's not how it is you know it can be a long process obviously I've been on this journey since I was 16 but I've not seriously seriously done anything up until a few years ago you know it does get better and you know once you learn to sort of be in sync with your skin it's it's so much better you need to you need to have patience because your skin will get better one of the best advice that I can sort of give you right now is to take photos Take photos, whether your skin is looking good, whether your skin is looking bad, always take photos because then you can look back and you can sort of see the progression because obviously when you're looking at your skin all the time, it feels like you're not making any progression whatsoever. But when you're looking at the photos, it, there could be a massive difference. So that is something that I do do on you know a weekly basis. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these sort of videos. Do comment down below if there are any other videos that you would like me to film. Please do subscribe as I would love to have you and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.